30 minutes, so there are lots of food for you to enjoy. If they have the the um, the cheese and salad and fruit station over there, help yourself to that, and have a whole variety of food back there. We also have the guest book over there. I need everybody to make a way to just sign a guest book for me, so my dad can have some kind of commemorative um, book at the end of the day uh, for this auspicious occasion. Um, we also have the backdrop out there for pictures. Um, the camera man is available to take as many pictures as possible. In the next 30 minutes, we will officially start this program and we will take it off. Alright? I want you all to please enjoy yourself. Have fun. There are lots of food, lots to drink. Have fun. And we are all family. Everybody in this room um, was specifically invited because my dad requested that you be here. So we are all family. So enjoy yourself and have fun. Alright? We have 30 more minutes to intermingle, sign a guest book, take pictures, grab some food, because by the time we start, there are going to be lots of speeches, there are going to be lots of crying to grab your handkerchiefs. Um, there will be lots of all oh, you know this kind of moments, so we need to fill your belly and make sure you're ready for those moments. Alright? DJ, take it away. Join the people, maybe don't say for this war. 
Sunday, worry, worry. We don't come home, you know what? Never ask. Can somebody call my baby? That I love I'm only. Oy. But now I don't day worry, worry. If she don't come home, you know what? Now I go there. Can somebody call my baby? That I know I'm only But I want not day worry, worry You don't call me, go me Now I go there Cause I do yawa 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 She my yawa 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 Now I don't day worry, worry You don't call me, go me Now I go there Make me turn up, turn up Baby, come on, come on Now you are going to follow, follow But you making me go, look, go, look Hey, I wanna carry you go Now my feet will do do I'm missing one up a coco One up a coco, coco Girl, if you want on my mind I the shout out the call If you don't come, I go die yo, oh, oh. Now I don't know what he, what he do can somebody call my baby? That I know I'm lonely. But I want not day worry, worry. You don't tell me, worry.
every million years in men in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above all names, we thank you for tonight for this opportunity to be in your presence. Once we will call upon your name, we are grateful tonight. We thank you, O God, for the many years that you have blessed your servant, your child with O God. We pray to you of the living God that you will continue to impart to you the many, many, and many years and many wisdom and everything that he desires of you, Lord God, that you will pour those things unto me in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight for your sons and daughters, people that have gathered here tonight to celebrate with all of your son. We pray for the new one of the that you will cause them to celebrate, you will cause them to, to be blessed that we be here tonight should not be in vain. God of our presence will be to each and every one of us individually and collectively. We thank you for tonight, we pray for blessing in God and we pray for so the living God. We now welcome you in this place to move and to guide and to protect in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So, I, I got this idea about a year ago to do this with my dad. Um, I was hesitant to approach it because, as you can see, even if you don't know him, as you can see, he is a very low key guy. So, as I was approaching him, I knew I was going to get some kind of low guy or some kind of hesitation. But, surprisingly to me, he agreed. But he agreed on a two caveat. He said, number one, there should be no alcohol. He said, I've never been alcohol, and there's no alcohol to anything. Um, so that was one. And the second thing he said, he said, I didn't do this for myself. I had a grandmother who was a staunch supporter in raising you guys and helping me raise you guys. So, if you're going to do this, I want you to take a couple of minutes and we bring your grandmother. So, I want to observe a moment of silence from my grandmother. We love a whole lot of people. My mom, my aunties, my uncle, great grandmother from both sides. But this moment is specifically for my grandmother, Mrs. Bade Diole Badio Kiba. She never went to school in her life. I think she must have the second grade. But she was the, I think she got a, a Harvard degree in economics. She sold everything and she knew all the laws of supply and demand. That was my grandmother. My dad didn't want to use her as, um, how do you get a second mortgage? You may get your home, you get a second mortgage. Because my dad made 50 cents, sent her to the school that cost $125. And to add it up, my grandmother was the one. So I'd like to call my aunt to make sure that our family not going to share this with my grandmother. So we're just going to observe this moment. Can we all please stand to observe this moment? For the late Mrs. Wada Diori Badi Kima, the major of our family, the Badi of our family. May her soul and the soul of all things required rest in breath for peace. Amen. Amen. All right. Now I got free range. I did the two things he asked me to do, right? Yeah. So I got free range. I can do anything I want to do, right, Dad? <laughs> anything I can do, I can, I can do anything I want to do, now, right, Dad? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what he said. All right. Now we're going to have our welcome remarks. Our welcome remarks are going to be by our Roman Supreme. This guy, I'm going to tell you what's going yes. We are not yet to know, we are yet to celebrate. Yes. At this time, standing before you, Mr. J. Dolce, I'm going to tell you for the purpose. <laughs> but I will say what? That's my dad too. First and foremost, we want to recognize our pastor, along with the minister of church of the very God, which my God is part of. And all of the church of the people, friends and family, that have come from far and near. 
you know, uh, Prabhu, and I hope you the story, but I can tell you, when you really care about that, will follow me. And in a lot of will follow me. And so today, Prabhu, you know the Bible says, give the person the flower in their life. It's not what it did before you see people think about them. Because what you see, it will continue to rain down in the ear until they leave this earth. So say good things about the person. And Mr. Dora I want to say thank you for giving all of that this part of the in your life. Amen. You know, when I, when I walk in this place, I saw the perfect, the angels, everybody in the white. They are the ones who will love you. For all of you who were connected to this part, I will tell you he is a true father. He is a true father if you don't know. So tonight, I want to take this time to appreciate every one of us that have come. And 
Dan, his parents separated. So when they separated, he had to move with his dad to go and stay with his grandmother. So he was raised by his grandmother along with all the children in Colorado. He went to school there until he was in the eighth grade, and then he had to leave there. There were too many things were going on. He didn't know the detail. My one of my cousins might know the detail when he turned it down for him to talk. Um, he went to Green Hill to go to high school to stay with distant relatives. After high school in Green Hill, again for his pursuit of education, he decided to go to Morocco because he wanted to get an education. So he moved to Morocco again to stay with distant relatives just to get an education. When we came to the world, we needed to pay to get an education. After high school, again, he had to go to he had to go to where he wanted to pursue his education. And after high school in Bingo, there's nothing else for to do for the world. So he went to the world and he was still with a distant relative. He was staying with another distant relative um, who plans to go back to high school, I mean to go back to go to college. The Disney relative died. And after the death of the Disney relative, the, the, a strain happened in the family. And so they asked him, Well, we know you we know you know what and you know what and you know what you know what thing, but the woman really had a pain with him. I don't know how you're going to do that, and now we're going to go to school. So he had to change his plans. So now he had to go find a job. And eventually, the people eventually were offensive. So we heard about this old lady across the world who was renting a room. And she was very nice, she was very kind, and she might give you a room for a cheap price. And so I went across the world in Long Island. All of a sudden, I went to Long Island. And I said, Not a good room for Long Island. Look at me. And so, he went across the world a long time and to bring his room to the floor, who happened to be my grandmother. So he went to bring a room and he found a Jew. <laughs> and that's how the whole story on the program. He talks about my grandmother. That's my third grandmother. But I thought it was his mother. And that's the kind of relationship, that's the kind of question that he, he is. And after the start of Adam Chair, of course, his 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 points of education was more over there. He got children to he got children to raise. He had three children, seven to seven to seven, five to back to back to back. To back. And you got to raise all those kids. And then after the raised, after the, 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 the kids started growing. Of course, he decided to make the kindness happy. I went to the two of his kids. He wanted to go to Disney. He wanted to go to the other education. So, what he did, instead of sending us to, and if we were going to go to the other school, instead of sending us to the other school, the other class school, he was like, no, you're not going to go to the other school, you're not going to go to the other school, you're going to go to the other school. You're only making 50 cents. How are you going to send these kids all the way? Even the transportation, you can't even make it. How are you going to do this? But he bought them, he created them, he did whatever he can to make sure the children had an education. Because he knew that the only thing that brought him to escape poverty is education. You couldn't build a house if uh, there was no food or okay. The pictures that they didn't do anything. But he knew that if he educated his children, the prospect of them making something other life would be better. He pushed and pushed and pushed for all the kids to be educated. He brought, he credited. My grandmother was a staunch of the world with me. She was always born. I used to be there. I used to say, this come on. She was born with me. She would tell me, I ain't getting it. But I was going to pay for somebody to do it. And make sure you pay me back. Now, I don't want to stop paying for somebody just to make sure you pay me back. So much you say, this is my last thing I get ready, I'm going to give you. Oh my, sorry, your, your, your laptop was not there. Keep the money in your laptop. I feel like I'm going to fall out of my head. So, 
He knows you all the children you are on education. He pushed and pushed and pushed. Today, he has six children. Five of his, all the children graduated high school as of today. Five of the children entered college as of today. Three of his children graduated college as of today. One of his kids has a master's degree as of today. Two of his grandkids graduated college already as of today. One of his grandkids already has a master's degree as of today. And that is what he pushed for for that day. Imagine the story of a young boy being born to a parent in turmoil who had to separate right after he was born to Pennsylvania University. And that's Jim Tesla Senior. My dad.
start a conversation about soccer. I don't know what I could do. My dad would be quiet man, until the conversation about power and I become a home. My car, my dad would be a sword in there. Like this quiet man, I would have. But that power and I conversation was humble. So that's why he was the idea of soccer ball and team for his body. He is a big eye fan. So I wish out to all my siblings for us to talk about how we move along with that. And we all have all of these things that we're going to say. So we decided that we would scoop it down to talk about when did you know your dad loved you? So they're all sitting in speeches. Well, my sister is here, so she will be able to do my own But they're all saying the speeches, and I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to give it to my dad, and then he can have it and do whatever he wants to do it. I'll show you the email, so I'll find it in the suitcase and say it all ever. Yeah. And so, yeah, 
give you all the children. I played with mom, with grandma, with my grandma. She said, Happy, happy birthday to the most handsome, caring, loving, understanding, kind hearted, and moreover, the best dad in the whole world. All of them will see the 75th birthday, the father's 75th birthday, but they were unfortunate. And I'm so happy that I had to see him. She said, I am so overwhelmed today for such a wonderful occasion. I want to appreciate you, Dad, for all of your talent, tireless efforts towards me. She said, I remember. I knew you loved me. When on that fateful day, when my mother passed away, and I was thinking, how am I going to navigate the life for the rest of the life of my life without my mother? But you stepped in. You took the position of my mother. And she asked the question, do you know how difficult it is for a female to be raised by a male? So my dad did his best, and God be God, it was a bit rewarded. Said, Happy, happy birthday, Dad. You are the best. From Paolo Kenyonio. We now move on to Mr. Paolo. I, I saw him go in the Just imagine, and we all 
sister of Jamie Jo. And um, my uncle called my cousin called a few days ago and said, the whole world just coming out now. You need to call your mom to get some information from your mom concerning your uncle. So, I called my mom up and I said, Mom, tell me a little bit story that we have prayer. The first thing that would come out of her mouth was, send my name on her, you want to call me. <laughs> Forgot about it. So I said, Mom, it's not like that. Say something to me. Let's talk. She said, My poor girl, you didn't send money. I said, Mom, it's not like that. I said, Not like that at all. So she said, I'm not even in the home and tell me that. You know, my brother, he's yes, been a nice person. And um, she said, We're going home. And Simon was called out. We were younger, no one school. But my brother was always the smartest person in the family. And uh, when I was younger, you know, back in the day, growing up in the interior, as she called, we all know it. When you have one family member in the city, they always request one family member to come to stay. In my mother to help out. So my mother was brought to my early life and father. So my uncle, James Miller, left in Colorado. Why well, did when he was in every as James James said, like back in the day, our tradition of culture is so complicated. My uncle was the first one he got to school. And uh, when he got to get break, they smiled. They called him that tradition called by the right age. They wanted to kill him. So they took him from Colorado and put him into the city to go to school. So why did he? My mother was going to go and so this is my brother always looked after us. Whenever I went, my brother was always there. He was always there for me. And when you see my mother, you see her brother get over there, look, I like. That very, very, and I look, I like. So, talk about it, though, that's a And then she just changed one topic. I'm mad at him, I'm mad at him. I wanted the same one as the other one. He's not going to say money. So I wouldn't be able to say that. So, and then I told him, his birthday is coming up. So he decided my birthday to tell you my birthday. Because I'm trying to set my life. She said, I don't want my birthday. Come on. I said, my brother, I don't want my birthday. I just want my brother to tell you my birthday. So I said, yeah, I will ask you later to figure something out to tell me. So I can put my birthday.
way or look forward to a better future. And, uh, thank you all for coming. Amen. Thank you for the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much, Pastor Shirley, for joining. Senior James 
who we are privileged to have met and known and raised your son spiritually. We thank God for you and the impact you made in his life. We are all proud of his family. And um, James, you know, you know, you might share first Sunday. Come here with you. It's very important. We ask that we stand with your toast glass in your hand. And please be seated. But do sit, sit, let us stand. On behalf of my family and our ministries, we toast to the longevity, the joy, fulfillment of my James Doe and his entire family. May God continue to extend his years and may God's grace continue to impart them. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Would you still alone? We will not have a remark for the church of the living God. Amen? But before the church of the living God, I said all this way. My dad has so many children from the church of the living God. So many children from the church of the living God. You are in a game with you come. But what specific days? Too hard to be. Um, since I was in the village, all the way from our house. And I'm all in the village, she was like, I am coming, and I'm cooking, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing this. And I just said, I just need you to come where your best wife enjoys her. No cooking. Amen? Since LA is uh, my dad's daughter. So I think in 2015, we were on a family vacation. I went to my dad, go on a vacation, da 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 da. He said, where are you, where are you going? And me, we were all excited, so I'm excited to tell him, oh, it's going to be nice now. The woods, the woods, the sitting is wet. I mean, you can just lay on the beach and people serve you with this. And after I went through all of my dad, I'm not going to 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 I'm not she came, I, I, I don't know what he said to her, but she made, I think she made a really far different suit. She made a lot of suit all the way. I don't know who can leave me. When I came out of the kitchen, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the church of the living God. It's the church of the living God. I'm not the only church of the living God. So let all the church of the living God stand. Then maybe we can just come right here. <laughs> Thank you. 
concept is a number of completion. So, prophetic faith he has completed the, the number of years that God has given to man to live. And number five is the number of deaths. How many complete that year of living beyond the time that God has given to me is because of the grace of God? Then when you add seven and five, it equal to what? Seven and five equal to what? It equal to what?
Hello? 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 All right. All right. I give thanks and appreciation to our Mardi Gras who brought me this stuff. I don't know why I hear you. I have to speak to the area. My children have always said, but I have more than more than more than. I give thanks and appreciation to our Mardi Gras who brought me this stuff. My children have already served the all, but I'm going to recognize some people who have me brought my children. To begin with, my mother-in-law family, the late Giro Badio Kimba. Mr. John Kimba and the family, such a wonderful family. They so dearly love me. I will never, never forget about them. Okay, we all are proud of our left for this fight. You got to put in your way. That woman called Dino Bani. She was a different kind of woman. More love is from in that woman's house. Almost 20 children from the interior to be there. When my children ma died, my father came from Sano. She was taking the children to Sano. I said no, I said no. Then my mother came, I said no. That woman called Jero Kima, she was a different kind of woman. The one day, that woman called me in the room. She said, you come. I went to sit down, I sat down. Say, look at me. You said, what you didn't know, I will tell you, you are not man. I am not your man, I know you. You are, I am your man. And you are my son. I love you. Not because you are my son, my daughter, but I love you. The same thing with Mr. Kima, the dad, father, and Mr. And the man called his brother. Mr. John Badu, Children Badu, Women, Johnny Badu, you only told me John Men, and Women John Badu, and John Badu, you didn't have to tell me. Mr. Sammy Badu, Mr. Hall Badu, they were my apostles. All Badu, I think, was just like you, you used to call me in the office with a Badu. I was drawn by the by the And the sister. I was living in the hut with the with, 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 with woman. So, wife, body. And, uh, and your sister called that. Both family. Love me to the I close to them in my own family. My children know what to call you town. Never went to Niku town. I was one of my last my children to Niku town. The children of mine died after the garage from the Kuna Ghani school. I sent them all to Niku town. I didn't carry them to Niku town. And I moved to Niku town. In the morning, by 5.30, I released Niku town. Come to Loki town. Pick them up. Killing them to school. When I kill them, I'll come back to keep the work. With my long hour, one hour, for 12 to 1, I will go in town, pick it up, kill them to the town, then come back to the work. After I left for, for well, a full of time, I will look at them. Wife has a uniform, dress has a uniform, be with them for some time. I did it for, for some time. When you are getting bigger, I used to rent a taxi. I feel like I took that one. Everyone has been expected to that one. But when they tell you how to go there, tell you how to meet me there. I said, well, 
I'm telling you, if my dad died tomorrow, that would be a happy funeral. Look, when your funeral is here, the kid is laughing. Why? Because I had an opportunity to have this day. Thank you all for coming from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all. We are going to do a great march, and we're going to dance, and then we're going to leave. Amen? Thank you all for coming.